Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back once again to NFTHUD.io. So today, there's going to be two parts of this video. Part number one, how to keep getting more D-Pets, how to keep raising your D-Pet count. So if you have 100 D-Pets, 50 D-Pets, 90 D-Pets, 1,000 D-Pets, how you can keep getting D-Pets in the last few days and moving forward to keep getting more. I'm going to show you guys the strategy I'm going to start using. I've been meaning to implement this strategy the last few days. This is the first time I'm getting a chance to sit around and get into it. So I want to do the video and get it out to you guys. The question I've had or a couple of you guys hit me up on my um, video and in the comments is, do I think the price is going up or do I think the price is going down? Honestly, it doesn't matter. It really does not matter. And I'm going to show you guys why. And I'm sure you guys are going to be able to agree with me when I'm done. So first, let's get to the price um, chart. Right here, this is the channel that it is in currently right now. Roughly between 4 and 520. It keeps going up and down. Let's say for argument's sake, you have 100 DPEX. Or let's say you have $1,000. This is from 4 to 520. We're looking roughly around 25%. If you keep buying around $4 and you keep selling around $5, 520, that's 25%. If you do this, buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell. That's three times already. That's 75%. Your 100 DPEDs, you should be looking for anywhere between 160 to 175 DPEDs that you now have. That's 75%. You do it one more time, you've doubled your DPEDs. As if you want to do big drop, big pay, big drop, big pay. I don't do it this way, and I'm going to show you guys why. So, this is going to be... We're going to get back to this in a second because we're going to go to actually this exchange where they listed DPEDs. And I did have some funds on BitTrue, but you still not, then you can only deposit. You can't withdraw, you can't trade. So this fund is sitting here because I don't want to keep transferring and keep paying transferring fees. We're going to set up our accounts here in a minute. Let's take one more look and finish with this. This here is a decent support. If it does drop, and it drops all the way down, I can see it coming down to about 3. It tested about 3.30. Let's say about 3.30 to 3.33, just about. It did test it at one point, and it bounced right up. DPET is high right now. It's high on demand. There's a lot of talk about it. There's a lot of, they're doing a lot of AMAs, a lot of promos. So I don't see, if it does drop here, it's going to be a quick drop and quick bounce up. It's too much going on for it. And not to mention, they just put out their roadmap. People are looking for staking DPED tokens. This is why they're buying. Because they, they realize, hey, I can buy my DPED, stake it, and keep making money. The biggest support that we have is this line right here. Really, we should be moving this down just a bit. Right about here. Which is roughly around 75 to 80 cents. I'm going to say more like around a dollar, dollar ten. Do I see it coming back down here? It's going to have to take something serious. I mean, like we had right here where we just spoke about the hack. If not, I don't see it. DPET has way, way too much potential. Not only in the tokens, but also in the NFTs. DPET is in um, alpha right now. So if you think this is moves, you ain't seen shit yet. Okay? Now, how do you keep accumulating more and more and more DPEDs and be safe? For that, let's go to the first exchange that we are going to use. If you guys paid attention to the last two videos that I made, I said the most important stuff that came out. And guys, when I talk, I talk to you guys like I'm talking to a friend or family member. I don't script anything. So sometimes I may, I may say something and you kind of have to try and figure out what I'm trying to tell you. Or I may say the wrong word. Or, but, you know, just work with me. Try to make sense out of what I'm saying if I happen to slip up and say something wrong. The biggest opportunity that we have now is this thing that's called limit order. Let me show you guys something on PancakeSwap. If you've been buying your DPEDs on PancakeSwap, you would come here. You're going to go to Exchange. Let's come here. Let's see if they have DPED listed. Here we go. I got my DPEDs. I'm going to put one. I don't choose what price we're paying. 
is going to go to whatever the current market price is. That's it. That's all you get. Whatever the more current market price is, you're paying. You cannot set up your own price on these decentralized exchanges for now. However, I've just deposited about $1,220 roughly in this account. So here's what I'm going to do. This is market order. Can I put the price what I um what what I want to pay? No. This is just like pancake swap. Whatever it is, that's what you're going to pay. Current market price. Market order, whatever it is, that's what you're going to pay. But when you come to limit order, guys, let me explain something to you and make sense out of this. This is where you're going to get your most money. Not from the big drops because you could sit down and wait and wait and wait and it will never happen. But let's say like me, I have $1,000. I decided to cut it into five parts. You see this one here? That says $498. let us put an order for that. So we're going to come here. We're going to say price. Price is going to be roughly around $5. I want to spend... $200. I want to sell these DPEX every time they go up by 25%. A way to test that is while you have it right here at $200 and you have this price here, you could put 2.25. So that's when you're going to make $10 additional worth of DPEX. So let's see what it would be if I sold it at $250 if I make it every 50 cents. It's going to be $20 every trade. So let's leave it because that's what I'm going to buy it at. I'm going to buy it at $5, this one here. When I buy this at $5, I'm automatically going to put it to sell at $5.25. It's only $10, but this is $10, this is $10, this is $10. When I buy here, I can put it to sell at 525 which is a good chance it's going to happen so when it drops again I can put it to buy right about 450 this 450 that I'm going to buy we're going to do it together I could sell it at five dollars or I could keep it and put it to sell for 525 this one here if it comes down to four dollars I could sell this four dollars at 450 so all I'm doing is basically setting up a grid buy 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 Sell, sell, sell. Buy, buy, buy. Sell, sell, sell. Buy, buy, buy. And it's going to go in the channel. Buy, 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 buy. Sell, 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 sell. Buy, 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 buy. Sell, 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 sell. And the whole time you're thinking, you know what? It's only $10. It's only $15. It's only $8. It's only $5. Guys, after a few weeks, a few days, how much money do you think that's going to add up to? That will probably add up a lot more. Then if you're sitting for a week, two weeks, three weeks for that one big drop, and then hope it goes back up. So this whole time I'm accumulating little bit by little bit, little bit by little bit. I have a question for you guys and think about it. I'm going to offer you two options. Option one, I could give you a $100 bill. Option two, I could give you 150 single one dollar bill which one you gonna choose someone who's not thinking may say hey i'll take that hundred dollars but they're not thinking 150 singles is 150 dollars you're gonna same thing you're gonna make a lot of small trades here which would most likely end up being more than one big trade the second reason you want to use this method is let's say it never comes back down so you're going to wait for DPED to get to what? Start buying when it gets to $8, $7, $10 because it didn't come back down. These guys that sold here, that was like, hey, I'm going to wait for it to get that big drop and come back down to $1 because I sold it for 2 I want it for $1. How many DPEDs they got now? Go think about it. Pause the video if you have to. You tell me how much DPEDs they have now. These are the same people who are buying at $250. Three, four, five, six. But if you use this method, you always have something. Okay? So let's go back here. The reason I'm using this method is because, remember, I have a thousand here. 
if all my money was in one account, I would put 1000 <clears throat> into this range. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. I had a quick little hiccup. I'm going to keep using the poke card chart because there's a lot more history on it. I would put 1000 to play this range. I would put 500 in case it drops to 3. And I would put 500 in case it drops to 2. And that's my whole $2,000 that I'm playing around with. If I say it drops to 1 and I have conviction that it's going to go back up, uh, believe me, that is going to the bank and pulling out some money and doing whatever I got to do, pull out those cards, if I have conviction that this game is going to be for the long run. But in this method here, I can keep accumulating little bit by little bit by little bit by little bit. Okay? So, let's do it. If you guys paid attention to my last two videos, what did I say? The limit order is the biggest opportunity that we have. Forget about whatever the price of the token is. It doesn't matter. Because let me, let me ask you. If this drops here and you buy here at $450 or if you buy at $4 and then it drops all the way down to $3 and you don't have any more money, you're going to be like, oh, man, I should have waited. No. These guys waited for it to drop. Where did it go? Where are they at now? So you have to be one foot in, one foot out. One foot in, $1,000. One foot out, almost $1,000. Why? Because with this fund, if this doesn't get it act together, and um, that's the other reason I don't like keeping all my money on one account, this is for the big dip. That's my foot out. I'm stepping out the game. I'm waiting. This 1000 is sitting on the side. In case there's a big drop, that comes down to $2 or $1.50 or $1.30 or even $3. So I got one foot in, one foot out. I'm always in the game and I always got something on the side because of limit order. If you guys watched my last video, I said limit order is the biggest opportunity that you guys are going to have. All right? So without any further ado, let's get started. So let's start over fresh so you guys can understand. This works. Oh, by the way, this works with no matter what you're trading. Commodities, futures, spot trading, forex, crypto. Any crypto you're trading, this is usually the best method to have the peace of mind, to sleep with the peace of mind. Does this mean you're going to get maximum profit? No. But you're going to sleep peacefully knowing that I got something in and I have something on the side and I have an opportunity. If it's, if it's small gains, it's going to be gains. You do this for a few weeks and a few months, I guarantee you, you're going to see your tokens doubled. Or you could sit down and wait like this, guys, and wait for a big dip. This is why I said it doesn't matter what the price is. It doesn't matter how far down it's going to go. You use this method, you give no Fs. Because if it drops, you happy. You bought some. If it pumps, you sold. You happy. You bought, you sold some. Now you're up. You're up in USD or you're going to be up in um, uh, DPEG. If I'm up in USD, I'm okay with that. I made money. If it goes down and I keep buying, I'm happy because now I got more defense than when I started. You can't lose. It's a win-win. The only way you're going to lose, if defense says, hey, we're going to crash, we're going to take everything, we're going to run with everybody's money, see you suckers. Okay, then we're all going to sit down and make another video cry over it. But until then, right now, I'm good with this. So before this drop, let's do our first purchase. And this works exactly in all exchanges, exactly the same. So we got this, the last $30 I'm going to have left in here. I'm going to buy the whole token. Maybe that's going to save me in my transaction fees. But for now, I want to pay $5 because I could have split my money in 10 and make it one here, 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 one here. I, I don't really feel like doing that right now. So actually, you know what? We're going to take this one out. We're not going to put this one in because we do have this one sitting on the side. So we'll find some place together to see where we're going to put this. 
actually I know where we're gonna put this so here we go first purchase is gonna be at five dollars for don't put the amount of defense that you want all you have to do is come down here unless you know you want to use 25% you go boom 25% but I know I want to use 20% of it 20% of a thousand dollars is two hundred dollars and it's gonna tell you exactly how much you're gonna get two hundred that's gonna be 40 defense and I'm gonna say buy order place that's the first order you sit down here it's waiting for it to come up two hundred dollars forty dpets at five dollars I'm buying next purchase is gonna be at four dollars and fifty cents is that what we got here yep four fifty four dollars and fifty cents how much are we gonna buy for we're gonna buy for two hundred this time we're gonna get forty four point four extra d pets because this one we only getting forty this one we're getting forty four d pets so let's hit buy or to play successfully okay somebody okay whoever this was thank you so much appreciate you Christian Kill. Somebody else, I guess that was a comment. Okay, did this go through? Uh, all right, here we go. $200. Let's see if we can get this to go through. Order place. I don't see why it didn't show up here. It should have showed up here. I've never used this exchange before, but let's see if we can do a quick refresh. Maybe I'll show up then. Okay. And this is why I was being careful. Let's cancel one of these 44s. 450, 450. <coughs> cancel. Okay. So we got one for 5, and we got one for 450. The next one is going to be for $4.00. Again, it's going to be for 200 D-Pets. And we're going to hit buy. Oh, oh, I thought it would have saved it. It didn't save it. Okay, well, we know we got one for five, four fifty, and four dollars. But if you guys pay attention, it's a lot. It usually stops at four dollars. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to set one up just in case it takes a big drop. So let's say about 350. So let's put one of them for 350. 3.5. Again, it's going to be for $200. This time we're going to get 57. So that's an extra 17 tokens from the last one. So we're going to hit buy. And I'll have to find a way um, because I just started using this. You guys already saw the, the, the little balls that we had. I'm going to find how to put it and save it. For now, it doesn't matter. We know we got a buy here, a buy at $450, a buy at $4, and a buy at $350. They're all right here, which means we have $200 left. Being that I don't want to go all the way down to $3 because that's what these funds are for over here. Because I'm going to split this probably in like three sections. And I can tell you guys now, if this place doesn't get itself together, I'm going to transfer my money over here eventually. That $1,000, what I'm probably going to be looking at doing is putting $200 at $3, $200 at 250 and 400 in case we get that big drop. And I'm going to be caking on the way up. Guys, if you happen to purchase something down here, don't sell the whole thing. Okay, this is going to be in part number two. So if you guys just want to know how to trade and make extra d -pets, I'm showing you how. But you do want to keep enough d -pets for what's coming up. So if you guys are done, when I'm done with this part one, you're welcome to hang around for part number two and get some better information.
when the real that's what that's why I said this one is for the kids. But if you want to be a big boy and a big girl, hang around for part two of this video. So let's go. So since we have two hundred left, we're gonna put an extra buy right here about four twenty-five, which is what I said. You know what? I figure let's use it up. So let's go. Four twenty-five is gonna be our last purchase because we're gonna have four four dollars. 425 and 450. Because the way I trade, I don't trade to say, oh my God, I want as much as I can. No, I want to keep constantly making money over and over. Here we go. Okay. So we're going to put it for 450. Buy. Now we got $25 left, which I'm going to see if this exchange have their own tokens, which save me under transaction fees, just like on Binance. But here we go. This is all by orders. You cannot do this on PancakeSwap and all those other decentralized exchanges, but we can do it here. So now if the price is dropping, I'm happy. I'm in it. I'm getting deep, deep it. More deep it, the happier I am. If the price starts to go back up, I'm still happy. The reason I don't mind doing this is because I already have my extra deep it. Ooh, I got... 461 USD. Might have to put that to work. All right. This, where's my D-Pets? I got 159 D-Pets for what I want to do here. So I'm good. We're going to get to this section. I'm good. Right now, let's keep focusing on here. So right now, we're good. Once it starts purchasing, let's say I come in and I see the $5 um, bought was successful. I'm automatically going to put those tokens to sell at 550 or 525. Whether I want to make 30 cents on each or I want to make an extra 50 cents on each, it's completely up to you. You could even buy these if you want. Like these that's buying for 350 if it gets that low, but this 425, this 4 dollars, this 450, you could set it not to sell until it gets back to 5 dollars. Or you could continue to keep selling because you see right here it came up. That would have been sold what I bought down here. But then go back up. Instead, it came back down. But eventually, it will go back up. So this is how you set up a grid purchase. And then you do a grid sell. $5. I'm going to put it for sale once that purchase goes through for $5.40, $5.45 or $5.50. This $4.50, I'm going to sell it at $5.00. This $4 purchase, I'm going to sell it at $4.50. If it does happen to um, buy at $3.50, I'm going to put it to sell at $4. This $4.25, if it happens to buy, I'm going to put it at $4.75. Each one of them is going to be a $0.50 cents increase from where I purchase it. And what happens when it gets up here? We start all over again. Because if I had done this a few days ago, if I had got home on time to sit here and actually do it, once I saw this range started um, forming, which now shows me a good range that it is forming. If you watched my last video, I mentioned, watch the ranges. If there's a range forming, chances are it's not going to drop back down. The longer this goes sideways, the least of a chance is going to drop all the way down to here. It could be a quick dump, boom, jump back up. Another thing that could make this happen is our favorite buddy, Bitcoin. If Bitcoin dumps, Believe me, this is going to dump with it. It may not dump as hard because of the popularity and the strength that it has right now. But it will dump. Which is why one foot out. You got to be one foot in, one foot out. How many times you guys have said while trading, damn, I should have waited. Ah, damn, I should have bought it. Why not do both? This is going to keep making me money. Up and down, up and down. I'm going to keep accumulating, keep accumulating, keep accumulating. Big drop. I don't have to say, ah, damn, I should have bought. Oh, that is ready for that. Okay? So, what we'll do is that if this works out, we'll come back and we'll visit this again with another video when we start setting up our sale orders. And you'll keep accumulating and accumulating and accumulating and accumulating. All right? 
Now, for the big boys and the big girls, it's time to level up and game on. All right, this is where the real video starts. We don't need this anymore. We can close this also. Like I said, have two exchanges, so put all your money on one exchange. You never know what can happen. These guys can do an exit scam at any time. I had set my money here first only because this is mostly in English and I was okay with it. When I saw they had the Ho, I've never used Ho.com. I don't know that, but I don't have a choice. I got to put my big boy pants on and take a chance. So, and there's no KYC, so we're good. I would prefer to trade on Gate.io, but I have a New York City license ID. They don't accept New York um, citizens. They accept U.S. citizens, but they don't accept New York State um, citizens. You guys know what I mean. So being that I have a New York State license, they will not allow me to trade until I change my license to at least a Florida license. Now, for the big boys and the big girls. Uh, let me grab this real quick. This is where the video starts and we really got about to get into it. Let's open up something. You guys see this right here? This is, oh by the way, if you guys are right now complaining about maintenance and complaining that this is going down, do yourself a favor, shut up. That's where I got all of this for. 5,000, I mean 5 million of this food is from there. Do you have any idea how long it would take to get even 5 million food? This is all at least, I only probably... Maybe, well, really mostly my kids, my son, I pay him as child labor to every 100,000 um, food that he gets, the boy gets a dollar or at least two dollars. If he does a good job, every now and then I throw him an extra dollar. Even when I'm on the road, this boy is here like bang, 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 bang. Dad, here's your food count. Cash out me my money. Yeah. So, oh, you want skins for your game? Yeah, earn it. I don't care if you call it child labor, I'm putting him to work. But okay, there's a reason why I'm hoarding so much food. This food right here is one of your greatest commodities in DPEC. Let's get this out of the way right here, right now. 90% of all games that we play, including Axie Infinity, which we are about to play a video in a short while, including Axie Infinity, you have to grind to level up. In DPEC, we don't grind to level up. We grind food. If I was to go and buy 100 D-Pets right now, and it took me 10 minutes to buy 100 D-Pets, I can come here and level every single last one of them to level 10 in a matter of 5 minutes. It doesn't take a long time to level up your pet. Part of the reason we're talking about leveling up pets, boss fight event coming up they're gonna have certain qualification and certain pet status in order for you to take opportunity we're gonna get to this in a minute there's a reason why it's here but for now let's stick to the subject you need as much food as possible if you want to start making as much money as possible because once again let's go back I know I keep going back to this again this one right here where it says staking. There's another staking one that come because some of you guys are saying, how come it has staking here? And then it has another one that says staking. Let's see, blah, 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 support PVP, blah, 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 play to earn, blah, 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 blah. There's another one that says staking. Why can't I not find it right now? In-game lending. Did I miss it? Limited sale. Release. Limited next gen. Super Hunger Game. Campaign, Endless Tower, in-game staking. Pet Expedition, in-game staking. This is for your pet staking. This one here that's coming out in the next two, two and a half months is for the pet token staking. Which is why we're seeing this thing happen here. All right? Now, let's get back to this. The reason you want to hoard this is because 
Let's say you were to buy these. Okay, let's get one thing out of the way real quick. And I'm, I can tell you guys now this video is going to go to at least 45 minutes. It's going to be at least another 15 minutes. But this is the biggest, biggest, biggest information you're going to get if you want to make as much money on these D pets. Not 10,000, 15,000, 20,000. We're talking about half a million dollars, 200,000, 300,000. If right now you guys are thinking, I'm full of shit, there's an actual infinity that sold a few days ago for seven hundred thousand dollars oh you guys are hearing the thunder outside my window so don't tell me you can't make you can become a millionaire off of this you can now you want to level up your pets as much as possible because when they have their events their boss fights and even when you're able to stake your pets i'm sure the higher the level the more reward you're gonna get I want you guys to listen to this. I'm going to link this video in the description if you want the guys to want to watch it in your um, in the entirety. There's a reason why I keep over and over and over compare Axie Infinity and DPET. My D5 pet is uh, Axie Infinity, Z Run. There's another one I usually mention that's um, escaping me right now. It's all wrapped up into one. What act what D Pet has that Axie Infinity currently does not have is the fact that you are going to be able to use your pet for your DeFi lending protocol. A lot of you guys are not understanding the huge importance and how much that's going to impact these pets. When I'm telling you these caps can be going for 100, 200, 400, 500,000, I'm not talking shit. If you have someone who is in a company and they're lending and they're borrowing or they want to borrow half a million dollars or quarter of a million dollars, $200,000, but with the right pet, they can have an extra 0 0.05 off of their lending or they can have a 1 or 2% high better rating or better rates on their lending or their D5. You don't think they're going... Okay, first of all, like say Infinity, you just buy and you play the game and you earn with it. These you can buy and play the game and earn with it, but it will still affect the amount in your lending protocol when the D5 aspect of it come out. There's a reason it's called My D5 Pet. If you guys are not understanding what I'm telling you, watch the last two videos I made and it will make perfect sense. I played the part in the video where the creators of the game themselves is saying yes it will be incorporated into DeFi, lending and borrowing your pets are going to be tied into your DeFi protocol i keep saying it over and over and over so if you guys are excited about this little bullshit that happened here you guys are lacking vision you are lacking vision I get excited. Wait for it. Wait for it. When it's at least close to a hundred dollars, that's when I'm going to start getting excited. For now, this this is a flat line. But let's keep going. Now we're talking about the token. But the pets themselves. Listen, okay. I know my audio is not that great, so bear with me. I know there's going to be an echo, and there's going to be a repeat. It's going to keep echoing, but bear with me. So this is the best I can do right now until I order a, a proper mic. But this is important. Listen to what happened here. And you understand, it's not just the price. I'm going to show you why this ties directly into my D5 pet. That can make you millions of dollars if you play your game right. Listen. 0.145 Ethereum. And just last May, when I made my first Axie video, the cheapest Axie was 0 0.05 Ethereum. Prices have basically tripled in just two months. Because of this insane growth, we also got the most expensive Axie ever sold. An Axie with three mystic parts called Greg. He sold for 369 Ethereum. Nice. Which is approximately $700,000. And why was why this Axie, Axie so expensive? expensive? Pay attention. This is the part that's going to come. It's not really about how much it sold for. It's why it sold for that much. 
This was one of the only 19 axes in existence that has a triple mystic body part on it. Mystic parts are super rare because they only have a chance to be found in some origin axes. Which, if you don't know, only 4,088 origin axes will ever be produced. Okay, so only 4,800 something or whatever he said, 4,080, whatever that is, will ever be produced. These mystic parts also have a special artwork and may be evolved into legendary parts in the future. Okay. Here's what I want you guys to pay attention to. All right, boys and girls, if you got into Axie Infinity early, I mean, um, D5 Pet early, you heard why that Axie went for so high. Let me ask you a question. These or the originals? These or the extra designs? When was the last? I can guarantee you. Right now, you probably would have to pull at least 1,000 Axies if, if you're lucky. To get one of these. With a horn. With the shades. With the pendant. With the shoes. With the wings. And the special logos. If you guys don't think these logos are going to make a difference. You are definitely not paying attention to what's going on in this game. In this Z5 pet. In these axes. That actually sold for that price because of the rarity. There was only 4,000 of them made. I've pulled 50 D-Pets on the Kai chain. Where the D-Pets are still a lot lower numbered than they are on Binance. Out of those 50 D-Pets that I, had, I, I pulled, I only got three of them with wings. You think I got a logo? You think anybody else is going to come now? Or next week, or next month, and there's going to be a whole bunch of these logos dropping? You barely could even get a pet with a wing. Barely can get a pet with a wing. You think this is going to be common? They're done. Any of you holding these pets, start looking for which, not house, you're going to put a down payment on. If you're thinking I'm going to put a, a, a down payment on a house, you're thinking small. Start thinking about which house you're going to buy. Not put a down payment. Which vacation home you're going to buy. Which mansion you're going to buy. Maybe not next month, but in a year or two, when these become legendary, the originals, the self-born. Okay, they're not second generations. These are firstborn pets. How many people you think are going to be after these pets here? Hmm? How many people are going to be after this one here? Huh? You think it's going to be common? Really? You think this is going to be common? Nah, bro. You can't even get them now. You can't even get them now. They're done. So if you're holding anything that has these logos on it, I will tell you right now. If when the marketplace opens... And you want to go and sell that pet for a thousand, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand, you out of your damn mind. I cannot tell you what to do. This is not financial advice. Nothing in this video is financial advice. Let's get this out of the way. I am not a financial advisor. Everything in this video is for entertainment purposes only. If you want a uh, financial advice, seek a financial advisor or professional financial advisor because I'm definitely not one. I'm just some guy sitting on YouTube that's been talking shit for the last two, two and a half months about d -Pet, but have been correct 99% of the time with everything that I have called that was going to come out or happen or in direction that it was going. I just happened to get lucky. Now that we got that out of the way. This is not to show off. I'm showing you guys this for a reason. How much you guys think this axe is going to go for? In the long run. Zero breed, self-born, with an outline, wings, glasses, horn, pendant, shoes, fully stocked. You taking two or three years or next year 
when the game is definitely out and we have a lot more. We have land sale. We didn't even get it all into that yet. How much you think this axe is going to be worth? I mean, this DP is going to be worth. Guys, hold on to your DP. The money that's going to buy you houses. Not to put a down payment. To go buy a mansion. To pull up anywhere and say, I want that one. Or the act or the DP NFTs. This and this is short term money. This is life changing money. Pick which one you want to go work with. Pick which one you want to go for. Let's keep going. Now, there are going to be the marketplace coming out. When these marketplace comes out, think forward. Don't wait for it to happen. Think forward. Axie the Infinity. When you buy, are you paying with AXX token or are you paying with Ethereum? Which is why I'm bringing up. When this marketplace comes out, do we have to spend DPET tokens or can we buy them in the marketplace with BNB or Kai? You may need DPET tokens to buy DPET eggs. But just like Axie Infinity, you use Ethereum to buy Axies. Not the native token. Can you buy it with the native token? I'm pretty sure you could. But you have the option in Ethereum. Which means you running to buy your Axies tokens may be irrelevant if the marketplace comes out and you could pay in BNB or Kai or whatever other token they're willing to accept. So if somebody wants $500 for their DPET, you don't need the tokens. You could pay with BNB. A lot of you guys, and here's what I want you guys to think about, like a big boy and a big girl. This pet is second Evolve. I mean, first evolve. I evolved it once. I put six DPET tokens into here. If you're thinking, you know what? Should I keep my tokens or should I invest it in the pets? Let's say each DPET token is worth right now, currently, let's say $5 as it is. Three DPETs to get the, the, the egg, $15. Three DPETs to evolve it. That's six tokens. That's $30. If you hold your DPET tokens, you got $30. You don't think this pet is worth $30? It's six tokens invested. What did I lose? Tell me. What did I lose? Did I lose any value? No. I didn't lose any value. I want to grab one that's regular so you guys can stop staring at that. Let's grab this one here. The six DPET tokens invested in this pet is worth $30 or more. If I was to sell this right now for six tokens invested, you think I'm going to sell it for $30, which is the value of six DPET tokens right now? Hell no. Why? Because it's already leveled up. I already put the time. I already put the food. I already put the effort. Once again, your commodity that went into this is not just tokens. It's resources and time. So this is actually worth more than six D pets are worth right now. This pet that got invested, six D pet tokens, the NFT is worth more than six D pet tokens. If six D pet tokens is thirty dollars, this NFT is worth at least 45. Which one is holding the biggest value right now? The only reason you guys are not thinking about this is because, once again, marketplace is not available. Being that the marketplace is not available, you guys are not realizing these NFTs already worth more than the tokens themselves. It's 60 pet tokens in here, but I wouldn't sell it for anything less than 45 to $50. Oh, it got horns. 
They got glasses. They got pendant. They got shoes. You know what? Give me $75 to $80. But the six tokens only worth what? $30? So which one is holding the highest value? Go take a look at Vivi, like I mentioned previously. Your VV token price was going up. But if you use your VV tokens, your OMI tokens, to buy the NFTs, the NFTs were going up as the token value was going down. So which one held the bigger value? Look at almost any NFT games. Any, any games that has NFTs, staking, the NFTs always hold more value than the tokens. Hence in point, $700,000 Axie Infinity, two thousand dollar Axie Infinity, three thousand dollars Axie Infinity, twenty thousand dollars Axie Infinity, two hundred thousand dollar Axie Infinity. Has the token jumped that high? Has the token jumped by two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, or thousand X? These axes did. These DPS will. If DPET tokens can go to $25, $30, dollars I'm okay with that. I'm looking for 100 But I'll take 40 I'll take 50 But if you think I'm going to sell my pets for the same value as the tokens, you're sadly mistaken. Right now, your pets are worth a lot more. This video is going to end up going in almost 55 minutes. Wow. Okay. If you guys want to make money, this right here, is your focus farming 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 farm your food because when you farm your food you're gonna get a lot more resource because once again it does not take time to level up your pet the more food you have is power level let me help you guys understand how you think future further ahead let's say you sold your D pet for fifty dollars you can take that fifty dollars in d-pets and go buy two d-pets those two d-pets you can come power level them up put them up back up for sale once you either evolve them or at least get them to level 10. you bought it for fifteen dollars i got it to level 10 even if i didn't evolve it is it still worth fifteen dollars no now it's worth at least twenty dollars or 22 or 25 because I put resource into it that takes time to get. That's how you're going to increase your value, your cash, your dollars, your amount. Okay? That's how you make it. That's how you take your food and you make it work for you so you can make a lot more money and get a lot more DPEX tokens or d pets or get more money to buy a lot more d pets do you guys see anything that is not evolved here do you know why because i took the opportunity because i was looking ahead of time because i had the knowledge but having the knowledge is not enough you got to have the wisdom knowledge is information just because i give you some information doesn't mean you have the wisdom of what to do with it this is what this channel is here for, to give you tips, knowledge, and wisdom. 99% of these YouTube channels will give you information. Are they giving you knowledge? Are they giving you wisdom to learn, here's the information, but here's how to use that information. I'm trying to give you guys the information and telling you how to use the information. How you should use the information. Not advice, but here's what I'm doing. I don't know what else to say, guys. Once again, I'm talking to you guys like I've known you for years, like we've been friends and we've been buddies because it's damn if you're still listening to this video, consider us friends. I don't want to get rich off of you guys. I want to get rich with you guys. I don't want to be a millionaire. I want to be one of the millionaires on this channel. If you guys don't get it by now, I don't know what to say. If you got some value out of this video, leave me a thumbs up, leave me a like, subscribe.
I need at least 300 subscribers because I want to start making some NFTs. I want to pay some professional artists to start making some NFTs. So when you guys start making some comments, I could send you guys some free NFTs. And all the NFTs that I make, they're going to be limited amounts. So if you guys want to take them and go sell them on whatever you want, that's up to you. Most likely it's going to be the WAX blockchain right now on Atomic Hub. But I don't have enough subscribers to get whitelisted on Atomic Hub. We're going to grow this. We're going to make it. And more importantly, we're going to make it together. Because I'm going to continuously keep giving you guys tips, knowledge, and above all, wisdom. So you guys know what to do with that knowledge. I will see you guys in the next video. Like, subscribe, comment, click that bell notification. So the next time I have something like this comes out, you guys are getting it right off the back. There will be some videos that I'm going to put up. They're only going to be up for maybe a few days, and then I'm going to take them down. Because I personally feel like if you're not involved in my channel, and you're not involved <clears throat> with supporting me, why would I put it out for everybody else to get the really good stuff? Like what we spoke about here. Go start accumulating deep hits. Look at that. It's trying to tip up again. So let's say you were here and you were like, oh, I'm going to wait until it gets all the way down here. You could have missed that buy. The only reason I don't have any tokens right now that I had purchased is because I finally got home and I got off the road. I had to go pick up a Ducati today and it took me a few hours to get back. Or I would have been here for this move right here. I would have been selling right now. But am I upset? Nope. I'm not upset. I still got some deep pets I can sell. This is more than enough for what I need to do. Which is why I said keep your accounts together. Focus on your pets. Even these pets out here, every last one of them is already evolved once. I was looking towards the future. All evolves. All evolves. All evolves. Because now, my account is good to go. Even if I sold 50 or 100 of these, I got to where I wanted to go. And if you have a very large account, you don't have to be so focused on buying DPEX. Focus on your account because you can use your account to earn money when the staking comes out, when the earning comes out, when the um, um, play to earn comes out. If you're able to power up your account and you're able to level up your pets and you're able to focus on your pets, you can use what you earn to buy your DPEX tokens. Now you don't need to go to the bank. You don't need to pull the kids' funds out. You don't need to say, hey, honey, I'm sorry, you. we can't go on vacation. Hey, kids, I know you want that skin, but that ain't need this $50 to buy some DPEX. No, because you're going to be earning it. Why? Because you're going to have enough resources. 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 Because now you can go buy three DPEX. Superpower level them in a matter of two, three minutes. Put them back on the market. Holy shit. I don't know why I'm telling you guys what I'm planning on doing. But if you're part of the channel, you deserve to know it. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.